0 for 4 last night. Lead off spot so critical for the Wildcats and a tough. I think in college it's doable. Uh, at the big league level, it would be kind of tough. How about a four pitch walk to open things up? When you see that first pitch and you know everything's going all over the place, you kind of worry, but you know he's really settled in. Runner goes. The throw down to second ends up in center field. And the 2 2. Fly ball to deep right. Back is Vincent at the wall, and it's gone. I mean, that was beautiful right there. Left on left, got a pitch up in the zone and just put it out to right field. That's exactly what Arizona needed to start this game today. Second home run in Coral Gables for Chase Davis. Catch strike first. So he went awful taco yesterday down the left field line, and today he goes down the right field line off a of lefty. So he's showing his portal pull power and, and the potential that he has. There we see the home run taco. And look at how balanced he stays. He stays back and gets a pitch up in the zone and just drives it to right field. Look how balanced his approach is right here. Stays behind the baseball, puts a great swing on it. He's my guy. Good arm. Serve. Left center. And that'll drop for a base hit right in front of Bingham. Fourth single for DeStefano of the three institutions. Sharinza draws a walk. Trotting down to second will be DeStefano. Twitter when I posted about it and indicated he was not interested. Three hopper to short. McClary's only play at first. He'll make it to retire the side. Tomorrow. Driven. Left center. DeStefano back at the wall and that one's gone. Paul with some power out of that eight hole. It doesn't get any better for Paul right there. You know, getting the start today after a long day yesterday and coming up clutch in his first at bat. And that's exactly what Arizona needs today. And I mean, that's it's great, great job by Paul right there. Second home run of the season. Three nothing Cats. Taco time. Taco, taco, taco time. Makes me hungry. <laughs> well, we got plenty of time to eat today. <laughs> yes. As you see here, Puglia throws a fastball, leaves it up in the zone, middle of the plate, and, and Paul does a great job of, of jumping on it. And you got to love the hustle out of the box right there, you know. Never take anything for chance and really got it going. Line to left center again, same spot, a bit lower. And a one-out double for Mac Bingham, his first hit in Coral Gables this weekend. I thought we were fortunate to get both games in yesterday. Line out to short, Cush ready and waiting. Kraminski leads things off, and Gibson lines this one down the left field line. And a base knock to start things off for Canisius. At Miami, which is, was super cool, and then, you know, taking the next step is, you know, playing against some of these guys in the big leagues as well. Hit him in at 289, six home runs. That one will get away from Susak. And both runners advance, so now basic could make it a one-run affair. A couple of LBs since you retired. This one gets away from Susak, and that's going to allow a run to score. Daniel comes up a little gimpy there. Trotting home was Kraminski, and it's 3-1. to one. Time, So it's going to be interesting to see uh, in his career, and, and we talked about last night where now with the, D the universal DH, it's huge for the catcher where they lead. Payoff, swung on and miss. Another strikeout for T.J. Nichols, his fourth. Griffs do play to run. Missing so far this weekend in Coral Gables. Yeah, I think I think Tucson is a little bit warmer than, than a little bit cooler. And I was super I'm a big nature guy, so I was super impressed with the, the trees and, and just the scenery there. Mac Bingham out of the nine hole, his second hit today. Doubled in the second and now a base knock to left in the fourth. Rounded out to short his last time up. And a surge to left field. Back is Dick at the track. That ball keeps going, and that ball is gone. A three-run jack. Big swing right there by Nick McCleary. His third home run of the season, and the Cats starting to pour it on. They now lead it 6-1. to one. And that was a huge shot right there by McCleary. As you watch him get back in the dugout, he's going to get greeted by his teammates, which is probably one of the best feelings you can have is hitting a home run, going in there, and getting greeted by your teammates. Taco time in the zone of dugout. The long ball. He gets a good fastball down and in and just really 
puts a really good swing on it and, and drives it out to left left field. And it's interesting, right, the victims and you know something you never want to see happen. And, and it's a you know like we talked about the leadership on this Canisius team. And All Mac championship team pick after hitting 536, doing what De Stefano does best. Another knock. This one to left field is second of this game. Payoff pitch, lined into right field, right center, still rolling for a base hit. One run will score to make it six to two. And Mike Steffen with his first knock of the afternoon. Keep things rolling for the Griffs here in the fifth. We'll see how it all shakes out. And that one clips Sharenza. He'll race to first, typical Canisius fashion. Do and keep it nice and simple. Serve, center field. That'll drop for a base hit. One run will score. Station to station, six to three. Keep so it. Vincent gets the job done with an RBI. Can he battle back here? Nichols delivers the 2-1. One. one hopper to short, off the backside for one. Over to first in time for the double play. Put a star by that when McClary getting it done from his backside. And what a second game he's having here in Coral Gables. You know, you watch Miami warming up out there at the Green Tree football field. And, uh, you know, that, that's where a lot of NFL pro bowlers have. To the backstop, racing down to second will be Dick. Tapper up the middle, into right center for a base hit. That'll score another run. And the Griffs chipping away at this deficit. It's now six to four. De Stefano has been so solid this weekend, John. I mean, I can't stop talking about him. Uh, you know, I've been super impressed. You see right here, he just takes a nice and easy swing, hits the ball up the middle, and for a big RBI knock and team of the weekend. Serve right field line. That's a fair baseball. De Stefano, a big turn at second. And now another big turn at third. Here comes the relay throw to home plate, and it's not in time. And what, a one-run game. It's six to five. Great at bat right there by Max Cran. Just really working, really working Orloff and, and getting a pitch he can handle, and then just smoking it down the right field line. Instead, a, a breaking ball up in the zone does a great job of staying behind it and driving it down the right field line. Called strike three and a punch out. Heat plumes rising up off the playing surface. There's a drive by Paul, and that one's gone. His second long ball of the game. And some much needed insurance for the Cats. It's now seven to five. Big time out back there today from Paul. And we spoke about when the game started, he was the only um, lineup change. You know, getting the, the spot started at DH today, the senior, and, and he's just provided a huge spark for Arizona today. Coming up clutch all day long, and as we see right here, coming up clutch with another homer, and there, there's that taco. Taco time, baby, in the Arizona dugout. And super impressive right here. You see Levi Deleuze's pitch. Hits his ball and knows right away it's out. You know, handles it like a gentleman, puts his head down, and just runs down the first base on like, like he's been doing it all year. Good finish to this game. Sharenza strikes out. Back-to-back -back strikeouts. So I can imagine some of the guys going to see pretty late there. Arias strikes out the side. To tie it up, obviously. Dick sends this one to the gap. That'll get down for a base hit. Digging now for a second is Carlin. Here comes the throw, not in time. And a leadoff double will answer a lot of the questions I was getting ready to ask you. Or a nice line driving right center field for a double works as well. No quit in the Griffs. Lofted to left. Davis has it played perfect for the first out. Good thing I just put up an order in for some good Cuban food again. Payoff pitch. Mazzaro will ground out to second. Caulfield ready and waiting. To left field. Davis running, tracking, and catching. Another elimination contest. And down goes Bullard. If anybody is able to reach for Arizona. And a four pitch walk. Abbott will strike out the side. 
Bottom of the ninth. The pressure mounting here for both clubs. Grant, three hopper. McClary over at short, and there's one away. Stefan down the first baseline. Splain has it unassisted. How about that play? Big play right there by Spain going to his left. Popped him up. Right field, Otremba. Arizona survives. Canisius is eliminated. And the Wildcats will play in another elimination game later tonight.